hello and welcome to today's video I'm just going to show you some no, well I'm going to show you one car from Forza Horizon 4 the Ford Escort Cosworth and then in a bit you'll see the Honda Blackbird in Ride 3 so I just wanted to kind of give a life update and tell you a bit about myself and what I'm going, what I'm going through at the moment. So uh, I don't know what's the best place to start from, but I'll just go and we'll see what happens. But um, I have sort of a hand tremor um, that affects me doing a lot of different things, like um, when I've been to job interviews and stuff. I've had people ask me if I'm on drugs, drinking. And I don't do none of that, I don't take drugs. Um, and then I've also got Crohn's, um, so I can look quite pale at times, skinny, and have no energy, be worn out, lethargic. Uh, can't sleep quite a lot for some reason. Don't know what that's all about. But um, yeah, so uh, that combined with the tremor and then having the depression and feeling suicidal and just self-harming and going through different dark stuff and kind of living in a situation which isn't the best um, yeah I'm not gonna go into that too much it's kind of dark but um, yeah so um, this year just gone I decided to go away to Canada and I've been talking to a girl for ages who's got Crohn's too and I went and saw her and stayed in Canada for a little while because I've not been on holiday forever in forever and also I just needed to get away because like living in the circumstances I live in it's really close with neighbours you hear everything that's going on and some people aren't as um I don't know what to say what the word is but either way anyway I needed to get away because it was making me more depressed again I was feeling like just killing myself because suffering with the pain and other stuff from Crohn's and what I'll go through for the rest of my life just because it's a chronic illness having that pain plus the depression and plus wanting to kill myself because I've tried to do that before and going away it made me realize there's more to life than just these four walls and if I let myself get into a place where I start feeling that feeling of there's no hope I'm not getting anywhere I'm kind of forcing it onto myself that I'm never going to get anywhere when I don't know what tomorrow holds but I'm going to try and carry on, get through it and see what happens and I was talking to some people about maybe talking at some Crohn's charity events and seeing if I can help anyone whether it's sort of motivationally inspirationally or just helping people understand what it's like to go through Crohn's because it's not the easiest thing to go through um, and it's different for everyone too it's not the same for me as it would be for the next person um, but yeah so that's sometimes why I don't upload videos often because I'm either trying to find some sort of work or do something because it's awkward even looking for work because some days I feel good other days I feel down depressed upset in pain and fed up and I don't know what's best for me to do because I can't live in this situation for the rest of my life never mind the next year or two I can't do that I need to get out of this situation so whether I find some work 
for a couple of hours because um, I get s sort of disability benefits and stuff like that because like a Crohn's is kind of I would say it's severe to moderate moderate to severe um, and then the depression thing I don't know what to say that is because I don't think one's worse than the other for anyone like it can end up with you taking your own life because you just don't see the reason to live also with the tremor it affects my voice so um sometimes my voice cracks randomly like you can kind of hear it it's like <laughs> but anyways so yeah I have a lot of weird little issues that really don't help but kind of getting out and doing something like whether it's go like it doesn't have to be going to another country it could be going anywhere and doing things like I've been kind of thinking about trying to get a car but obviously I can't get a car with the sort of money I get so I need to save up and sort of I don't know I just don't because I know I need more money to save up to get a car do lessons and whatever else and insurance because I just can't ride my bike sometimes and then I just don't go out then I don't get food and it's just awkward sometimes I don't want to go out because of the depression or being in pain or like today I haven't slept um, because a lot of the time when I try to sleep I just can't and I think it's a mixture between doing nothing and then thinking about stuff and then all sorts of stuff going on in my head about what to do next what I haven't done but either way I'm just gonna carry on and see where I can go see what I can do and hopefully help some other people along the way because there's a lot of weird things in this world like you're not allowed to show emotion or fear or um, cry because that's weak but holding it in for eternity isn't that great either because or just thinking that you're worse than you actually are as a person because you're not crying or you're not like you can't cry because then you're not human like you're not a man because you're crying or well, I don't know how people think but I think there's a lot of things in society that prevent us from getting on with certain things um, I don't know what to really say my brain's kind of melted at the moment I keep having these weird situations where I completely forget what I was talking about that's not really happened here but it's kind of I'm just don't know what to say without sounding like a knob. So yeah, I hope everyone has a nice day and I hope everyone can get on and do what they gotta do and I hope anyone who's kind of feeling down can get out of that situation and sort of do something they wanna do. That's the thing, if you do feel like that, try and do something what you wanna do something you might enjoy it's quite hard sometimes to go out and do stuff but once you've got out the door it's not going to be that much harder because you've got out the door then you're going to go and do what you're going to want to do and then you've done it you've got out the door and once you're outside it's not too bad as long as you don't get worn out or run out of energy and just do what you got to do to get out of the house and then come back home and that's just one day you've gone out I don't know I just don't give myself a headache I hate my own voice but um that's all I hope you have a nice day take care and goodbye thank you for listening to my waffle goodbye